Hi, I'm Larry of YouDoLoveMe.com, the place to learn about God's benevolence. I'd like to chat with you a moment about God's Building Project for Happiness. God's Building Project for Happiness includes his motivation of benevolence. What is his benevolence? It is his heartfelt, deep-down desire to share his happiness with all of his creatures. Now, God's Building Project for Happiness isn't some half-baked, spur-of-the-moment idea that seemed like a good idea at the time. No, instead, it is his carefully crafted deliberately designed plan to share his happiness with his creatures, especially you. And to do this, God started a building project in two phases. Phase one, planet Earth, a place to have the happiness. And phase two was you. First was the place, planet Earth. When foundations were laid in the ancient world, a chorus would often be on hand to sing in celebration as the first layers of bricks were laid. Job 38 verses 4 through 6 tells us that when God laid the foundations of the world, all the morning stars, the angels of heaven, joined together in a chorus of singing, shouting in wild triumph and joy. What could be so very wonderful? What could be so good? that there would be cause for such an outburst of ground-shaking rejoicing? The answer is the preparation of Earth as the place where God would share His happiness with somebody very special and very unique, you. After the Earth was prepared, next was mankind, living souls, someone with whom God could share His happiness. Now, when it came to man, God didn't create puppets. You know, puppets, and then say, okay, be happy. Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. No, he didn't do that. Instead, what God did is he gave each one of us a piece of his very own essence, free will. And he gave us freedom by which to choose, either for his happiness or for our own. Up until the creation of man, God surveyed his efforts, and five times he said, it is good. But after he created us in his image, he didn't say it was good. He said it was very good. And the Hebrew focuses your attention on it. It's like saying, it's really good. We're going to chat exactly how we're constructed for God's happiness and why our own efforts don't work out too well a little later. But in the meantime, let me ask you a question. How much happiness can you take at a time? Take a moment and think about it. A little bit? A medium amount? Or a whole bunch of happiness? If your answer is, go ahead, pile the happiness on me, I can take it, you are on the right track. Scientists who study nerves tells us that the human nervous system is designed to take an extreme amount of happiness. In fact, they say, our whole being functions best in a state of happiness. At the same time, how many times do we have we gone to the doctor and complained of this or that? And he asks a few questions shrugs his shoulders and said probably stress and then offers you a prescription oh and then sent you a bill afterwards well that's easy if stress and unhappiness is the cause then certainly the opposite God's happiness is the cure so not only does God's happiness put a solid stable contentment into your soul it's also good for your health God's benevolence is how he shares his happiness with you. God's benevolence offers an open hand of invitation. He never twists your arm. He never bribes you. Instead, he leaves the choice to you. God invites you. He urges you. He almost begs you to choose for his happiness. 
He's been in the happiness business for thousands of years, watching us ignore his design and trying to figure out how to get our own happiness in life. Well, that's about it for laying the foundation to understanding God's building project for happiness. God's building project for happiness, benevolent design for your active participation. We'll chat again about God's design, answer your questions, and talk about how you benefit. Bye for now, and please visit youdoloveme.com to learn more about God's benevolence.